Hi guys, this video is just a, um, a tutorial on how I painted the Hanoverian Line Infantry. Um, so if you like it, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, come and subscribe and uh, leave some comments on what you think about um, how, how I've painted it, maybe how you've painted it, um, how you think uh, it could be improved. I just did this for um, M3, he's a subscriber uh, to my channel who said he was about to start doing his Hanoverians for the first time and, and I hadn't done any so I thought I'll just jump online. Well, actually jump on the paintbrushes last night and finished it about quarter to one in the morning. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a longish video, but hopefully it's it's good enough. Cheers, guys. Okay, so here we have the um, the Hanoverian figure. Um, the trousers are sixty percent German grey, forty percent neutral grey, Villaggio colours. Uh, the first coat for the red is black red, once again Villaggio, and the first coat for the skin is Shadow Flesh from the Panzer Aces, Aces Villaggio um, selection. Um, this is a test figure, so I'm not 100% sure what my next colour will be. I think I will go for the neutral grey next so we will give that a shot I've got five figures so we can always do other other tests so I can't really see what I'm doing hopefully that helps okay so the lighting is not the best, it's quite late at night, um, everyone else has gone to bed and I thought I would give it a give it a crack, so here we go, hopefully that's, we go that way don't we, okay. Trying to pick out a wee bit of the the detail as we go. I'm just not too sure if this will be a little bit too light for the second coat. Actually, a bit hard for me to see it this time of night with the lighting. It's probably why I don't normally paint it this time of night, but so we're not leaving a heck of a lot of the first coat on or visible. I think we'll be all right with this color. These are the uh, first Warlord Games plastics I think I've actually painted, so quite interested to see what they were like. I'm not sure I'm happy with the face detail on them, but hey, once they're painted up we'll make our, we'll make our minds up. So 
So the color that I'm putting on here is just the neutral gray. Straight. There. I'll take some uh, shots of that tomorrow. So you can, you can see it a wee bit better. Let's build up certain pieces of it a bit more. too much of the undercoat to show. I might just do one more of that one. The undercoat has come up very, very shiny. I'm not quite sure what I've done. What I've done there. figure here the details not quite as easy to pick out so I just have to make some of it up as I go just paint paint the detail I normally do a um, a square for the knee on the pants or on the leg even. Just a habit I have got into doing. I think on this one I'll paint out most of the bottom colour. Already got the, the kneecap painted there first, and I'll just paint around it to give myself a little bit of definition first. And then draw some lines down towards it and block in the, the top, draw another line down, just fill it back up a little bit. So it's not all completely lines there. Try try and follow the like the grain of the, the pants as as I paint. It's quite good if you can let the design of the model dictate where you. Your paintbrush is going to go. Okay, so that's that one there. Right, so even though we've got more there, I'll just see, it's not quite dry enough, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a test by putting a little bit of medium sea grey in to the mix. So I don't know if you can see that's the the base colour. It's medium sea grey. I'm just going to take a little bit. Change the consistency colour of the paint, I should say. So that's the change up there. And we'll just see what that does.
trying to catch more of where raised areas would be. It just depends on how much work you want to to do. I'm just going to use a little more of the medium sea grey. This is where you've got to be a little bit more careful if you're adding another highlight because Very easy to take it too far. Okay, so there's the the grey done. I might go back and do some more work on it, but like that. <laughs> So there we go. So that's the um, that's the great. Okay. So the next color is um, a Citadel Evil Suns red, and this one I use pretty much straight from the pot. So I'm going to start by just putting the elbow in on the back, finding crease lines, and then once I've found those, block in most of the red rests, sorry I meant to say. Must admit, I'm just finding it a little bit hard to see at the 
this time of night. It's kind of lighting. I normally have more lighting, but the camera doesn't really like that, so it's not really happening. Even some very small amounts of the first coat. Doing the same in there, I'm just putting the elbow in, then finding the creases, then painting around. If you were to leave it at this stage with just this second red in, you won't have a very nice red. And sometimes I'll even go over this red again before I put in the next one. to get that colour up a bit. Okay, so that's the second layer of the the red done. I'm just going to do one of those for now. So I'm just going to pause it at that. I'm going to paint some skin on them, and then I'll be back. Okay, so um, I've quickly just painted the skin in. I've done um, flesh. Um, base over the uh, shadow flesh and then I've done flat flesh over that. I'll probably do a wash because I think this model you know, might find the detail, detail a bit better but now we're doing um, Villaggio Scarlet over, over the red. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I want to paint all the area, all of it in this colour, but there'll be certain bits like around the rim, tops of the top of the hat, arms and bit, just adding just a little bit more. You know, it's more layers, more depth, colour in there. So we've got one more red, red layer after this. So I mean on this on this lighting, I don't know if you can actually tell any difference at all. So that's that. I haven't even had to see what kind of things we're doing other than that. Okay, so our next colour to add will be 
Wild Rider Red in its um, Citadel. Um, need something there. Hold it open. Cardboard in there. Okay, so this one's um, quite a bit lighter. It's going to be a bit more selective where it goes. Sorry about that, I think I was out of camera, I'm not sure, but this is almost like an orange, so you don't want too much of it. Just little dabs in there. You might think, oh, why bother, because you're, you're going to be covering up stuff you've just done, but if you're careful, you don't. Okay, so, that's the red done. Four layers, black red, evil sun's red, which is citadel, scarlet, which is back to Bellagio, and then wild rider red. Okay, so let's pause that. So the next colour I'm doing is Everland Sunsets, Sunset, which is a Citadel base colour. And we're going to be painting in the yellow. You have to excuse me if it goes out of shot a bit, but I need to get this kind of right. Focus on the miniature, not the camera. Okay. So what we'll do with this one is we will be using the same colour for the next next pass, um, but probably put a bit of white into it. I was going to do a wash, and I might even attempt that on um, a different miniature just to see how a wash goes on it, but. At this stage, it's kind of the colour I'm actually after. Which of course generally I don't want on the first pass. So. I kind of made it hard for myself by gluing all the backpacks and things on. Bit hard to get in there. Okay, so we're starting to come come together a wee bit. I just want to see whether it shows anything else there. So that's got like a blue in the back. Right, so what I might do, and we'll just leave the video running, is some sky grey. Okay, so sky grey is what we're going to use for the areas that are going to be white. So we're going to paint everything in
It's going great. Chicken. Oh, I'm about to say you've got to be rather careful here, and then I dropped the miniature. I'm not used to holding the, the, um, the milk bottle lid. I'm normally on a bit of cardboard, but because I wanted to get these undercoated quickly, I just slapped them onto onto these. I must admit they're quite handy when I'm just. Yes, I'm not used to the way I do you hold them. Okay. Okay, we're getting getting a bit closer to the some of the finer work in there. I'm not going to do round the collar quite yet um, at this stage. Got a, a rogue here on my new brush, which is annoying me. Now, just to let you know, I wouldn't normally paint these lines in there. I would normally actually do the pack first. I'm not actually quite sure why I'm doing this right now but maybe I'm just being a bit silly late at night. Okay. Shoulder over here. And There, and we might as well do the gun. As well. Okay. So that's what he's starting to look like. Now, there's a little bit there. I don't want to just... As I said, I'm not used to holding this milk bottle top. I'm 
just wondering can you see that bit in there okay I'll stop that at that point and pause the camera what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, do the first coats for the pack so I'm doing this I mean it looks like they have different kind of colours that you can choose but this first one I'm painting in um, Luftwaffe grey while the camera was off I put a, a flesh wash over the um, the skin it's an old it's an old one which I have quite a few bottles of Algren flesh I think maybe I don't know how to say it but is it right Reich, flesh citadel would be the the new one for it okay so that's that and while we're here um, a bit of German grey on the backpack so not filling in the whole thing with it line around the edge and I'm going to paint that with a fresh coat of, coat of black most things that I um, you know, I'll kind of paint that in there as well the boots where I've touched it with the, the grey just to sharpen it back up I will be painting those with the German grey as well the cap peak there I never, I never leave the undercoat as the final colour. Now, you don't have to, but I'm going to paint the, the hair black before I paint it the final colour. I don't really like um, Either painting over flesh tone or whatever is is there. I'd rather paint over the black, give it a bit more definition. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to paint the first um, base coat on the the rifle, which is Rhinox Citadel Rhinox Hide. Is is what I'm going to do, paint that in. I mean, you have, might have something else that you like painting the wooden. That's just what I prefer. I have two systems of doing doing my wood colour. Excuse the hand. And um, one is with a older colour as the second one, which is Kathan Keth Brown. It's an old Citadel colour, but um, I'm sure you can use something else. Um, okay, just about done. There. What we're going to do is I'm going to do a strap around the bottle in that same brown my base coat okay so this this 
part of the videos a whole bunch of different things I'm gonna do I don't even know how to say that but that that for my first layer of my gold and I open it and you think to yourself I need a new pot of gold do the buttons later down the center after I've done the, the white. Right, so we're up to up to there. Right, we'll just pause it there. Okay, so first off what I'm going to do is even though hopefully I haven't high, um, put too much white in it, I'm gonna highlight the bedroll which is the same Luftwaffe um, grey with just some white added into it. I probably should have done a, um, a not quite so light on this this one and done another another layer but it is what it is. Right, and now we're on to um, doing the white. So we're just going to go over the grey that we've already painted with the white. Um, we're not trying to paint out all the grey, it's just that we're going over those areas. The reason for painting that grey first is that it will give you depth and um, sharpness to the miniature. Sorry if I'm not talking too much at the moment because I'm just trying to focus and getting those lines right. Okay. Oh, and I painted the bag here in the um, sky grey as well. Out. 
So you need to wash brush out. in a detail on here. Okay. Starting to get there. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. I don't know how many times I've dropped these things. Okay. So there he is with the white on. We've still got the water bottle to go, which I'm going to um, have a crack at with. I see it's quite dark. Just trying to think what what I'll do. Because it's a bit blue, it might drop. Put a drop of if I can find it in all my paints Prussian blue with a bit of um, just wondering whether for my base coat whether we might use that in a little bit of um, German grey just to. Darken it up, but we'll grab a different brush and just do a test in here. Maybe a bit of that instead. See if I get the colour I'm actually after. Hmm. Right, we're just going to pause it there for a second. Right, I've done the um, the first coat of the water bottle in um, dark Prussian blue. I'm not a hundred percent sure it's a good choice, but um, there's only one way to find out, eh? Okay, so I'm going to do the um, excuse me, the second coat of the rifle in the Catlin. Catherine Car Cat That Brown. Excuse me. I have no idea what I'm doing these days. So trying to do um, a bit of wood grain so you're not painting it solid. You will be doing a finer wood grain after. This is just the first the first one. Spin it around. So we'll be using new wood on top of this one. Okay. If you can see that wood grain there, so we're going to use Bellagio spin around. 
old wood, not new wood, old wood. New wood's a brighter colour and has a different base. So if you wanted to, you could put um, something like that on instead of um, the other brown, and then you would use new wood and you get a brighter brown. Um, with the old wood, you need a, a different base. That's why I've used this, this other one. Okay, so obviously you want a finer detail here. Okay, I can, I'm not sure if you can see that. I will make sure that I take photographs of this after. Now, but while we're got the video running, I'm just going to take a bit of the yellow that I used before and put that in my. Well, I'll actually get rid of that palette and I'll put a, another one there. I use these little plastic things and I'm going to add a little bit of white into there I try not to add too much water to yellow because it's it's just a color that can um, go funny quickly just lose its brightness Trying to um, take a little bit of the flatness out of the yellow that's on there at the moment. Give it a little bit of depth. And what I'll probably do is then add more white into the yellow where it's quite, quite light. And do it again and try and do it a little bit finer. I mean, you might want to leave the original yellow, you might like it that way, and not put the layers on. But I just like to add that in. Right. I'm just going to. You have to excuse the bright light but I need it to actually see what I'm doing. So I'm using um, Leader Bleacher Citadel paint um, to do metal. Okay, so he's just about done. I'm gonna now put the second coat on the water bottle, and I will use if I can find it. Sorry, I've got to have my paints out. 
doing a different job. And I put them all away, but I didn't put them all away where I would normally do it. So I'm going to use um, Prussian, Prussian Blue. So the first colour was um, Dark Prussian. Um, and on this one, it's going to be next, it's just Prussian Blue. And then we'll get the white is still usable. Right, I'll just while we're doing that, I'll I probably don't want that much white. Just putting a dab of white into the Prussian blue that I had. I don't know if you can quite see it's in there with the should have shown you before I put the um, that in, but is this turned off? Yep. Okay, so there's the water bottle there, and as you can see, when I've painted the next colour in, I've left like a ring of the dart, the dark in, um, like that. And now I'll go over that with the the um, the lighter one. We'll go around the edge. I can just draw that out a little bit more. And then do a couple of wee stripes. Across there. That's pretty much done. I need a Anything out of this pot of gold? I think I need to get some more. I've got a few buttons to do down the centre, which I can hardly see. Then we need some Villaggio. Gold. Just to finish that off. Um, you could do a wash over that um, over the, the gold there to get it a little bit nicer before you do this step. But at about twelve o'clock at night. And everyone's in bed asleep. I don't think I will be. Right, let's just have a quick look at. I'm not even sure they are gold buttons. As I said, I haven't. They might be silver buttons. Actually. Okay, so change that step. I'm just going to go back and redo the buttons. They are silver, not gold. So we're just going to go over those buttons with the leader bleacher. And while we're at it we'll do the ones on the cuffs. And then we need, I think 
we'll do Rune Fag Steel as the highlight on those. Actually, while that's drying, I'll, I'm going to do the hair brown on this guy. So we're going to go back to that Rhinox. Rhinox brown as the base coat. And we're going to use bestial brown as the highlight on the strap on the water bottle. Just comes in there and around. It's going to paint the scallop black for the bone. Okay, and then we'll put on the um, silver highlight. I haven't ruined it by putting that gold on, which might show through if I haven't done it right. <laughs> 